Today we're going to discuss adding color to a SolidWorks part file. There's multiple ways of changing the color of a part. We can change color by feature, by face, by body, or by the entire part file itself. If you want to change colors by the part, you can simply right click top level part name and click on the appearance pull down. You can also do the same by feature. Click on the appearance pull down. We also have an appearance icon, edit appearances, in the top center of your screen, which you can click on. And once again, this will allow you the options to change color by part, by faces, by surfaces, by bodies, or by features. And there is yet another way. You can simply put your mouse on top of a, a feature, face, part, whatever, right mouse button click, and there's your appearance pull down as well. Now this one's a little bit different in that it shows you face, uh, your uh, feature name, your body, and part. So if I wanted to just apply a color to a face, I would just simply click under appearance for that face, and let's just say we want to make it red, we'll apply red, and click OK we have applied a red appearance to simply a face. The rest of the model remains whatever our default model color was. If you want to apply a color to a feature, for instance, once again, it's the same process. Right mouse button click, appearance pull down, and this time we'll simply choose the feature color, and we'll set the feature color here to green, and you can see the entire feature is now green. Something new in SolidWorks 2010 is the ability to, to choose the option Remove All Part Appearances. It'll take away all the appearances off the part and reset it to the default. I hope this helps you when it comes to applying color in your SolidWorks models.